Clear 7, Cape is go. We're standing by for you. Roger, Cape is go and I am go. Our capsule is in good shape. Fuel 103, 102, oxygen 78, 100. Cabin pressure holding steady at 5, 8. Amps is 2, 6. All systems are go. Roger, 20 seconds to see go. Roger. Indicating 60. Say again. That still looks good. Roger. Seco. Plaza grade's fired. Okay. I just asked. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger, turn around, I started. Roger, capsule turning around, and I could see the booster during turnaround just a couple of hundred yards behind me. It was beautiful. Roger, seven, you have a go at least seven orbits. Roger, understand go for at least seven orbits. This is Friendship 7, I can see clear back a big cloud pattern way back across toward the Cape. Beautiful sight. Uh, this is Friendship 7, uh, so having no trouble at all eating, uh, very good. In the uh, periscope, I can see the brilliant blue uh, horizon coming up behind the approaching sunrise, over. Uh, Roger, Friendship 7, you're very lucky. You're right, man, this is beautiful. Uh, this is Friendship 7, uh, have eaten one tube of food, uh, shutting the visor. Uh, I've had no problem at all eating. Oh, the sun is coming up behind me in the periscope, a brilliant, brilliant red, over. Uh, this is Friendship 7, it's uh, blinding through the scope on clear. It's uh, started up just as I... Uh, gave you that mark, I'm going to uh, the dark filter to watch it come on up. Uh, this is uh, this is Friendship 7. I'll try to describe what I'm in here. Uh, I am in a, a big mass of some very small particles uh, that are brilliantly lit up, like they're luminescent. I never saw anything like it. They're around the little, they're coming by the capsule, uh, and they look like little stars, a whole shower of them coming by. Uh, they swirl around the capsule and go in front of the window, and they're all brilliantly lighted. Uh, they probably average maybe uh, seven or eight feet apart, but I can see them all down below me also. Uh, negative, negative. They're very slow. Uh, they're not going away from me more than maybe uh, uh, three or four miles per hour. They're going at the same speed I am approximately. They're only very slightly under my speed. Over. Uh, they do they do have a different motion though from me uh, because they swirl around the capsule and then depart uh, back the way that I am looking. Are you receiving over? There are literally thousands of them. Uh, this is Friendship 
seven, uh, am I in contact with anyone? Over. Roger, retro sequence is green. You have a green, you look good on attitude. Retro attitude is green. Dispatch 20. Say again. Seconds. Roger. This was uh, 
still kicking in and out of orientation mode, mainly in yaw, uh, following retro fire, so I'm on street manual now. I'll back it up. Uh, say again. Uh, this friendship 7, uh, going to fly by wire. I'm down to about 15% on manual. Alright, you're going to use fly by wire for a uh, and we recommend you do the best you can to keep a zero angle during the entry. Over. Uh, Roger, Friendship 7. This Friendship 7, I'm on fly-by-wire backing it up with manual. Over. Uh, Roger, Friendship 7. Uh, Go ahead, Cape, out of your ground. You're going out.
I'm getting all kinds of contrails and stuff outside out here. So I just want to check it out this way we were broken up. Four or five thousand. Rocking quite a bit. I may still have some of that pack on. I can't damp it either. Friendship 7, uh, going to drug early. It's a rocky first uh, think Drogue came out. Drogue is out. Roger, Drogue came out at 3-0,000 in about a 90-degree yaw. Roger, is the drogue holding on? Roger, drogue looks good. Roger. Scope did not come out. Roger, Roger pumping the scope out. Let's go. Back in. All right, your re-entry checklist complete. Standing by for a minute, 10. Roger. 